from downtown Bakersfield. 23 ABC News at 5 starts now. Good evening. We are beginning tonight in the Live Center as public health has rolled out a new graph breaking down the trend for local COVID-19 cases. You can see it here. Officials are now confirming 565 cases for Kern County residents and nine for non-residents. But a glimmer of hope is coming out of the Kern County Public Health Department tonight. Officials announcing the number of daily new cases in Kern County is showing a decline for the first time in several weeks. 23 ABC's Tori Cooper joins us live from public health with details on what this means for Kern County's COVID curve. Tori. Yeah, Jess, public health unveiled that new tracker earlier today. That dashboard really giving us that more clear picture surrounding our county's curve. But health officials say only time will show whether or not we are truly slowing the spread. Um, we are hopeful that we are flattening the curve. It is unfortunately still too early to know. Health officials say even though Kern County recorded the lowest number of daily new cases since mid-March on Thursday, with only four new residents testing positive, the numbers are still too sporadic to indicate that any real change is happening. Um, we're continuing to see wide variability on any given day, and so until that is more stable, it's difficult to say for sure um, what kind of changes are happening. The numbers are changing, and so is public health's reporting. The department unveiling their new updated COVID tracker on their website Thursday, a data collection election they say is now more accurate and provides a bigger scope of the pandemic locally. We have also added the number of recovered residents, which you see is 203. The updated tracker also showing some good news for residents. As of Thursday, more than half of all the tests that have been conducted have come back negative for COVID-19. And 90 residents who previously tested positive just a week ago have now since recovered either at home or in hospital isolation. But new charts are also showing people who fall between the ages of 18 and 40 are the most impacted so far. That new data showing more than half of the county's residents who tested positive are all under the age of 50. Now, health officials concluded their briefing by explaining that they have already responded to more than 1,000 complaints of local businesses remaining open despite the order. Now, they are still encouraging everyone to call 661-321-3000 if you see a business operating that shouldn't be. In front of the Kern County Public Health Department, I'm Tori Cooper for 23ABC News, connecting you.